that can be a little bit intimidating for a lot of people. When you go out yes. there, you want to fill your walls, you want beautiful pieces, and there are really no rules. You want to look for something you have an emotional connection to. But we thought we'd talk a little bit about designing around that art because Most definitely. you might be investing some good money in this art. You want to make sure it works in your space. Well, definitely. And I think that people, if you're looking at art, People think that art is, original art is mm -hmm. really expensive. And yes, you can get a $20,000 piece of art, but you can also get a $500 piece of art or a $5,000 piece of art. So depending on your budget. But I think people are afraid about original art. And I wanted to talk about that, but we, we all go out and we all have framed images that we picked up at Ikea or other shops and mm -hmm. we frame them and they look fantastic. And you have a very emotional, as you said, a feeling when you look at a piece of art. Yes. So I went over to Robert Gallery, who mm -hmm. have who actually have uh, an exhibitor there, there since 2002, and his name is B. Wadden, um, B. Wadden Schilling, mm -hmm. and he is a Canadian artist. Now he he did a series of Black River uh, images and paintings. This is oil on canvas, and this is the surface of the Black River, which is near Lake Kuchiching. Okay. So this is how he this is how he perceived it. Mm -hmm. So there's a real emotion. Um, level to it. So when you're looking at art, you say, I love it. So then the next level of buying an original piece is to say, well, okay, well, well why did he paint what he painted? Mm -hmm. And that's what. He painted this whole series, and you can see that it's, it's got a very modern vibe. Yeah. Now, ideally, you decorate around your artwork. So you can see this is extremely colorful. Yes. But sometimes pieces of furniture that you have may not be as complementary. So you're always thinking about, where do I put that piece of art? So what I did is I selected a wall color pulled from the piece of art to see what kind of colors really make that art pop. Right. Now I picked a color called Dash of Curry. It's a Benjamin Moore color. And you can see that it's pulled from one of the colors that is in um, B. Wadden's piece. Yes. But it's also it kind of dies a little bit on the wall. It's, yeah. it's not as complimentary as it could be. The piece is not popping you off got of it. it. And that's what you want. You want it to be highlighted. You got it. And similarly, you've got this Moroccan key chest, gorgeous chest, but mm -hmm. the style of that, so you're looking at lines, you're looking at curves, etc. don't make it as complimentary to the piece. Right. A French chair as well. These are gorgeous pieces, but this art could look great just on a hall or on another wall, which I'm going to show you and move in a moment. Okay. Similarly, lighting is critical to any kind of artwork. This lamp, although beautiful, may not particularly light this piece of work as well as it could be. Also, the shade is a little bit large, and it takes away a little yes, bit from the image. It's blocking it a bit. You got it. So what I wanted to do was take this piece, and with some help, I wanted to move it over to the other wall. OK, so you've got a different paint color on the other you wall. Got it. You've got different furniture on the other wall, and that's probably going to make a, diff a big right. difference on the impact okay. is it, is it on? of okay. the art yeah. in the space. You got it. So I picked a color, and this is called Willow, again, another Benjamin Moore color. Mm -hmm. And you can see that suddenly that neutral wall makes the colors in that artwork absolutely pop. I like that. It's it looks really, really yeah, it strong. Looks great. And these, all the furniture is from LT, so I want to thank them for that. But the pieces here, now you notice that the chair is a little cleaner lined in style. So the French chair to a cleaner leather type of, 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 of chair. Right. Also, we've got the, uh, the brass table, and it looks almost organic. We picked it, it's got a little bit of a tree feel, which remember, this is a river series, so this is all about the water and the mm. flow and the reflectance. Mm -hmm. So you can see that they, they do work. Also, I've added an ottoman, and the ottoman is the pop of color. Right. So I kept the wall neutral. So even though I thought dash of curry would be fantastic with the art, it looks better when you have the dash of color, whether it's in a pillow or a beautiful throw, mm -hmm. or in this case, this really great tufted ottoman. And other things like the warmth of the tray in the gold color really pulls off from the frame of the picture itself. Nice. And then lastly, I really want to touch on the lighting. Lighting mm -hmm. is really critical. So you can go to stores like IKEA. Kia and you can get little lights that are that are going to shoot up onto the piece of art. You can just tuck them. They're little LED batteries, easy enough, or lights rather, easy enough to tuck on the floor or behind a piece. And you can see that uh, that's going to really light it up and, and create a beautiful ambiance to the piece. Mm -hmm. And also, too, these little clip uh, lights are great, too. So all of that. And don't forget lighting. So the lamp on the other, beautiful lamp doesn't light the piece of art properly, but something like a light that has an adjustable arm or head, again, you can shoot it onto the piece of art. And don't forget, too, that if you're building a gallery wall or a new build, 
adding um, bulkheads and putting the little lights in set will shoot down and then right. wash the uh, the piece of art from above, which really gives that a beautiful impact. That is really nice. Mm. So it doesn't have to be that intimidating, really, uh, if you yeah. think about it. Now, I know that you are highly invested in art, are going to be, and you're going to be part of the show, the yes. Love Art Show. Love Art. It's an amazing show, and what it is is really to let people know it's not scary yeah. to buy art, to look at new young Canadian artists and see what they're all about, and and just support the cause because there's some amazing talent out there, and I'm just absolutely delighted to be a part of it. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, well that's happening in April yes. at Exhibition Place. All of our audience gets tickets to go. Go and embrace the art and enjoy that.